Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is The State Bake and today we're kicking off a brand new series on the channel, Stakes Simple Survival. This is going to be a single player survival series that focuses on making a world for just one person. So less about ultra mega redstone farms that make a thousand items per second and villager trading halls and more about building up a cool and chilled world full of all the things I need to survive and thrive. So if you're in the market for a chill building focused single player survival that isn't going to skip over all the important bits, you're in the right place. So pull up a seat, grab a cup of tea and snuggle into a warm blanket and let's enjoy Stakes Simple Survival. First things first, as with any series on Minecraft, we have to go over and punch some trees. Whilst I gather our early game woods, I'm going to take a minute or two to explain the series and what kind of game this is going to be. Overall, I wanted a really chilled version of Minecraft that looks really good and really immerses me in the game, so I've opted for a vanilla plus world. This means that it is modded Minecraft, but I'm trying to keep it as close to the vanilla game as possible. I've only really added small quality of life changes to make the game run better, play better, or look better for the video. So as you can probably hear, we have an immersive ambiance mod, adding a breeze and bird song, which is themed to each biome, as well as using shaders and the replay mod, which you are seeing now. There are also some minor world generation mods, small structures, and an animation mod that just adds that little bit extra immersion to make it feel like a better game. All of the mods and resource packs that I'm using will be packaged and linked below if you want to play on the same mod pack. And I'll also do a little video on my second channel detailing the whole mod pack for full transparency on why I chose each one. Hopefully I've not added anything game breaking and it all runs perfectly, but I'm sure we'll see throughout the series. While you're down in the description after the video, I would love it if you left a like and a comment. I've been wanting to do a Minecraft series like this for a while, but always put it off thinking no one would watch, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, enough exposition and self-promotion, back to the gameplay. Right, that should be enough wood for us to get started with anyway. Certainly enough wood for us to get going. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is go out and explore the world that we have spawned in in. As you'll see, there's a few mods that I want to explain as we go, but it's mostly vanilla Minecraft. So I think we're going to head... I've not chosen the seed, so I don't really know which way to head. Let's kind of go in amongst these trees and see if we can find somewhere cool for us to build. I do have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do throughout this series. So there are certain pieces of terrain that I do want to find, which does mean we need to wander around and look for somewhere cool to build. Um, although maybe a shipwreck could be a good idea to start with. Let's pick up some of this sugar cane and some spruce trees as well over there, which is good. I'd like to make sure we get at least most of the woods before we settle down. It's a chicken. There's a little uh, structure there. We do have some light structure mods on. Nothing that should be too OP. They should just produce these like little ruins that make the world look a little bit more lived in which I think adds to the quality of life. This one in particular looks like a ruin. If we look around, it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to explore them too much at this stage because we need to go and find it somewhere to build, but it's somewhere that we can come back to. Like, look at this. This little foundation of this little house here is really quite cool. What might be a good idea, in fact, what's that over there? Is that a villager house? That looks like a villager house, doesn't it? If we head over there and maybe steal a bed for the night... Uh, and also we need to set up somewhere where we can make a few tools right so we arrive at this little village in the hope of stealing a bed that's really what i've come here for a little bit bigger than a normal village house and books is always useful so let's make some tools i mean i don't actually need a crafting bench uh, to do the first bit but let's throw in a pickaxe at the very least probably worth picking up a little bit of stone from this building am i gonna destroy this building um exposed stone anywhere if not i'm destroying the building exposed stone let's go let's let's not destroy the building as soon as we spawn into the world that's very irresponsible of us isn't it just need enough to make some tools and a furnace as always get those early game tools and early game useful things down and ready Always worth getting a full set of tools on day one. Although, if we are going in search of a shipwreck, we probably hit iron very quickly, I would imagine. Right, that will do for now. Let's head back to the house. 
Let's eat this apple as well. What One thing we do need to find is a source of food. I don't really like killing all the mobs for early game food. I think the game's easy enough for you to live a pretty vegetarian, I suppose, lifestyle on a Minecraft server. And you, you don't have to, but it's just something I like to do, of course. Let's make ourselves an axe so we can get these bookshelves. Let's make another... Ooh, that's not a pickaxe. That was supposed to be a pickaxe. Clearly, my mouse skills are a little bit out right now. Then we want a shovel and a sword. There we go. That is everything we need for now. And I am very much a fan of the this layout of tools because if you're using your pickaxe, you can easily switch to a weapon with just one scroll. And we're going to keep this as our first little trophy of the series. Keep the uh, initial pickaxe that we made. Let's take down these bookshelves. Very weird that this one house is here considering I can't see any other villages but i guess this is one of the structures that the mod adds i was hoping for a bed but it doesn't look like we're going to get one uh one thing we should probably do though is get berries for now it means we can heal right up we are playing on hard difficulty mode which means that we will run out of food and the running out of food will kill us so probably a good idea to pick up as many berries as possible nice and early on it is beginning to get to night time already i did spend a little bit of time doing the spiel at the start shall we get onto the water that probably seems like the safest place to be at night for this first night although i do have a sword i'm reasonably confident in combat with base game mods mods mobs not not mob not mods mobs so let's plonk down the crafting bench and build a boat in fact we've got the right amount of planks right there perfect let's just uh boat out towards that shipwreck and see if we can pick up some early game items that will get us through although there is something over here what's this lighting up here oh this is this the rest of the village oh safe haven find a tavern i mean is there somewhere for me to sleep there's pumpkins and a chest oh some food nice globaries very nice i'm guessing that's the food store for the the tavern this is quite cool oh there is a bed nice um is there anyone I can pay for the room for the night? No? Well, I'm, I'm going to sleep here. I'm going to sleep here. Oh, I heard I heard a villager. Hello? Villager? Oh, hello, buddy. Hello, buddy? He's a butcher. Hello. I love the, I love the animations that this fresh animations mod adds, or resource pack, I suppose. The little side eye that they give you in the blinking and it's just it just makes the game so much more real it makes it feel like minecraft 2.0 in fact I'm, I'm a bit of a blue man actually so let's let's take the blue bed let's leave the purple one here we'll leave his little bell oh he may take the smoker though he's got a campfire he doesn't need a smoker I, i'll i'll have this that, thanks thanks buddy cheers appreciate it although that's probably his workstation isn't it so now he's not a butcher anymore i'm sorry I'm sorry you're not a butcher. Or maybe this is his room. Call for adventure. An ancient city map. I don't really know what that is. I don't know if that's a good idea to explore at this stage. Probably not. It also seems to be absolutely miles away. Acquire a tavern quest map. That might be something that we need to do at some point. The tavern needs help. We will be here for the tavern. Our safe haven. This is the store again, isn't it? Should we take a pumpkin? I don't know why I'd want to take a pumpkin, but I'm taking a pumpkin. Thanks, buddy. I'll... Wherever you've gone, I'll be back with some emeralds, maybe, at some point. What's up, stolen your hay bales? Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Like, re really appreciate the extra food. Like, gen genuinely really, really helpful, buddy. Thank you. Bye. Um, see you later. Hasta la vista. Goodbye. Uh, boat. I, I, I'm sorry I'm having to walk past again. It's awkward. It's awkward. We went the same way. But I want my boat back. Where is my boat? I wonder why that little house is there. Do you reckon that's his house? I I did steal your bookshelves, buddy. I, I'm sorry. He won't know. It's fine. We'll, ju we'll just row away. And you'll never see me ever again. Bye! Uh, steering a boat in this mode is, is difficult, okay? I've, I've crashed again. Let's, let's steer in the proper direction, shall we? Bye, buddy! Sorry, I stole all your stuff. Is it the wrong way? Am I an idiot? Where's spawn? How have I got lost in like 10 minutes of being on this world? Right, I think we need to go over there because I think that's where the sea is. I think I just missed the little 
inlet of the river. And that's why I got lost there. What an idiot. I know I wear glasses to try and look smart, but that doesn't mean I actually am smart, okay? Right, let's jump in a boat and head over to that shipwreck. Row, row, row your boat all across the waves. If you see a treasure ship, nothing rhymes with waves. Hello, we are here. We have arrived. Our poetry did not help us, but let's jump in here. Oh, diamonds straight away. Let's go. Um, we should probably go and give the uh, poor villager that we stole everything off a couple of those emeralds. I'm not going to, but we probably should see if we can get a little more. And there is a buried treasure map. Good stuff. We'll take everything for now, but we will start dropping stuff out of our inventory as we go. Moss blocks, always useful. Blast protection tunic. Don't mind if I do. And we'll leave the rest in there. And let's use... The buried treasure map, which appears to be in this direction. Push yourself forwards until you are completely covered up by the red X. If that means going to the left or right, do that. And then eventually you'll get to a stage where just the little tippy tip pointer is above the red X. Just the little tippy tip. And then below you within like a little four block round. So you'll notice that you're in the middle of it. Little four block thing will be the chest. So you tend to be able to just kind of mine down and you'll probably find it probably maybe definitely if i don't find it it's quite embarrassing considering how confident i am with these things it's is there it's there we're good we're good we're good oh more diamonds we've already got enough for a diamond pickaxe let's go uh all this iron emeralds gold heart of the sea iron sword lovely won't take the fish don't need the fish lovely Right, let's go and find somewhere interesting to build. And I want to find somewhere mountainous. I also need to grab a spruce sapling. There we go. Okay, right. Spruce trees acquired. We need a river next to a mountain. As a preference. Hello, buddy. He said hello back. That was very pleasant. Well, he said meh, which of course is hello in sheep language. Which I'm sure you all know. If you've played Minecraft as long as I have, then you know that that is hello. See, that was rather more rude. That's unpleasant from you, sir. Thank you. No, I, I agree. Oh, hello. What's this? It's another tavern. I mean, it's much uglier when it's in Birch. Goodness me. Ah! 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 Buddy! Buddy, run! I'll save you! I'll save you! Leave him alone! Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Oh, my goodness. That made me jump. Are you okay, bud? Are you okay? I mean, he gave me a little nod there. Have you, like, spawned right next to some kind of pillager structure? Because that's what... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Buddy, you might need to move house. You really need to move house. Buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Come on. We'll, go, we'll have to go in through the wall. I don't really want to get too close. Let's put some logs, I suppose, in front of your door. You come in here. No, no, no. Buddy, 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 buddy. Come on. In and in. In and in. Good, good, good. Right. You live in there. Don't go Don't go outside. Just stay inside forever. How? Why have you come outside? You're going to die. Is there more than one of you? Or are you doing rings around me? There's vindicators here. I can't stay here, guys. I can't help you for much longer. I'm I'm leaving. You know what? You you chose you chose this life. You built your house next to their campsite. Not our problem. Bye bye. See you later. And more villager stuff. There seem to be just be coming across endless villagers. This is a proper village though. This is like an, a village village, which we will go to mostly to see if there is a better source of food. If I can get some hay bales. The savannah over there. There is a ruined portal there as well. We don't want to spend too much time with the villagers this early on. It does kind of make the game just a little bit too easy at the start, I always think, if you hit too many villages. What I do have installed is the mega map, uh, Zero's world map. Uh, so actually, this is ocean, so I'm actually going to head left, which is this way, towards the other biomes. So... Over here is where I think maybe there's something slightly better. 
just judging by the terrain like if you're looking at ocean ocean islands lots of islands whereas here looks a little bit more built together a bit, bit more put together let's check in this chest first up efficiency hoe do i need an efficiency hoe i, I could go for an efficiency hoe i'm gonna throw away these nuggets i don't think they're necessary uh, i will keep the hat though and we can put this blast protection thing on and now i look awesome oh there's little particle effects because it's got an enchantment that's kind of cool right let's head into this village and see if there is anything useful we can steal potatoes is what i'm here for guys seeds carrots beetroot potato there we go i'm probably going to use up the hoe by doing this aren't i efficiency hoe for the win it's it, it's gone already i've mined like 36 hay bales and it's gone any of you got a saddle in your house i can maybe steal or a blast furnace let's take that get a job guys says the youtuber go on bounce on that bed yay i'm fun too anyway enough bouncing on the bed with child villagers let's head off in the direction we want to head off which we said was this way didn't we really uh also run run <laughs> leave them all the panic and run to their houses while i run away nice i like this this is cute oh cherry blossom i wish i had a saddle it's a white horse look at him he's so pristine and beautiful i would call you shadow facts if you get the reference you are a nerd like me i do want some i'm gonna go get that one cherry blossom over there ow cherry blossom saplings um you know what i don't need the pumpkin we can find pumpkin later on and i probably want bamboo as well 12 bamboo vitally important it is that number i, I picked up another one i don't want it i want 12 12 exactly and if you get the reference you're a nerd like me oh i mean it's nice but it's not what i want now this is what i mean by the snow mod it just makes oh ah! ah don't die that's not quite what i meant i was just gonna say it makes some of the grass look snowy i, d I, d I didn't want to die move like you want it move like you need it dance all day till the sun goes down this is the problem with me and starting minecraft worlds is i always wander around looking for the perfect place to build with an idea in mind and then can't find it and then don't have a backup idea i don't hate the birch forest to be honest especially in shaders it looks quite nice in shaders the lighter leaf one of my favorite youtubers youtubers one of my favorite youtubers for god's sake i need to learn how to speak one of my favorite youtubers gemini tay loves a birch forest i well, see that's quite cool but i don't really want it to be on the ocean i want it to be on a river I know I'm being really picky, <laughs> but that's the kind of Minecraft player that I am. Into the dark oak forest, which is really useful. Um, we do need some dark oak saplings. We need at least four. I would like to get eight, really. Right, you did drop some more saplings. Good. We have three. It's still not enough. Now you did drop some on the floor. Okay. Am I a criminal? Am I going to leave this tree stood like this? Um, no, but I am going to leave most of it. Sorry, I'm I'm sorry. I know that's going to annoy people. Maybe I just won't show it in the video and then it won't annoy anyone. Parkour. 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 Huh. Huh. Oh, I fell. Oh, ow. Okay. I'll stop that. Okay. That that was that was Minecraft telling me you should probably stop doing that. So I will. This is closer to what I want. I mean, annoyingly, this village is actually in quite a good location for it. However, further along the water, how many bales of hay have we got? Fifty-two. Let's get a full stack. Mm. It's really not as good as I wanted it to be. 
When I eventually choose my place to build, you guys are going to be like, what the fudge? Why did this take you so long? This is just generic Minecraft terrain. Why did it take you so blooming long? And I'll be like, well, I'm happy, so leave me alone. Bread time, baby. Made some more bread. We got some more food. We can continue to hike between these mountains. Here's where I like fall into the flipping deep dark and get killed by a warden or something stupid happens now, right? We've walked for so long. I need a slow decline river, basically. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Hello. Oh, no, not you. Oh, no, not you. Not you. Run, 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 run. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, leave me alone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah, 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 ah. I've lost a lot of hearts there. Are you still chasing me? You are. Run away. That was pretty scary. I just heard the har. Sleep in the trees tonight, I think. What's this? Day six or something now? Maybe day seven. Okay, we found somewhere pretty suitable for the kind of thing that I had in mind. And there's a village there. There's there's a village exactly where I kind of want to build. This is kind of what I had in mind. A little meander in the river. High rises of mountains behind. I mean, there's also a massive lava waterfall over there as well. <sighs> Some things just ruin your plans. All of this damage from one little tiny lava block. We have found an area that I'm reasonably happy with. This little flat area here is exactly where I kind of want to build it. It gets this large hill in the background. It gets this hill in the background. You get the little forest in the background. You get this kind of hump here. I like the little meander in the river that we've got here. It looks really cool, like this sweeping meander. That looks really nice. I will remove this village because that's not a helpful village location. This village, however, is probably where I'll move all the villagers to because I feel bad if I don't move their house. Um... They can be boated down the water, I presume. Let me check that. Uh, nope, they definitely cannot. <laughs> Great. Let's find our new home, and I'm pretty sure... It's only going to be right here or right here. The lava is gradually flowing away, which is nice. A little splash in this river here. And I think it's going to be right here. What do we think? Is this nice? I think this is nice. I like the big hills in the background. Something to look at. Some trees. We've walked quite far and we could have just not walked that far. If we just walked this way, it wouldn't have been that far, would it? But we've walked, we ended up walking really far, which is fine. I don't mind doing that. It, it, we found somewhere that I really want to build and I think this looks like a really cool location. I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is the perfect location to start our single player survival and all we have to do is flatten this area, remove all the grass, and then remove all the villages and those village houses. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Let's go. So, first things first, crafting bench and our service blocks. Service blocks? Workstation blocks can go down, including our smoker. Let's throw a bed down right there. Let's set the respawn point as well so that we spawn back here if we do die. Not that I'm planning on dying anytime soon. And this is our first location. Also think it's a good idea to make a couple of chests. Let's go for eight of them. No, not eight, sorry, four. Good, good maths there, steak bake. And perfect. We have somewhere to start us off. Excellent. So let's clear some of this grass to give us a good starting point. Do this. And clear the area. Annoyingly, there's a song stuck in my head right now, and it's an advert for Head and Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo. Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. And it's really annoying me. And if I burst out singing it while we play and remove this grass, I am apologising now. Because if I start randomly going, I did know you had dandruff, I don't, then I I'm sorry. Also, head and shoulders, not sponsored. Other other shampoos are available. 
So we cleared most of the grass away from our initial area. I will re-beautify it when we get going. Pick up as much of these flowers and stuff as possible. And then hit the hay, I think. How long until it is time to sleep, do you reckon? Probably when this goes out of view. Now. Oh, I just know these things in Minecraft. Bang! Our first night in our new location is done. We have our location now let's start thinking about how we're going to remove these villagers. Um, mine cards? Question mark? A bit early for mine cards. I'm not going to waste all my iron on mine cards for villagers. Hi guys, would you mind moving? Do you want to move house? I mean, thank you for the the stuff that means I didn't need to carry potatoes all across the world and could have bought something more interesting. I'm going to wait for you all to get around town again, and then I'm going to try and put you in boats. Okay. And then we'll kind of put you somewhere. I, I don't know where we're going to put you right now, but we will put you somewhere. Okay, let's build some boats. Also need to remove that. You know what? I'm going to do that now. Here's my ADHD brain being like, do this, do this, do this, do this. Um, but I am going to remove this because otherwise I'll forget. And then I, I hate floating blocks. I hate them. Right, boats. Nine boats should do it. Let's go and rescue these villagers. Also, maybe rescue this bee as well. No. I want the bee. Oh, you've skimmed over the top of it. That is cheating. Buddy, 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 buddy. Look, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, you're so close. So close. So close. This way. Oh my God, buddy. Barry B. Benson. Yes! I'm not going to call you Barry B. Benson, don't worry. I hate that movie. Everyone hates that movie. Now let's trap some villagers. Hello, ladies and gents. Please jump in the boat. There's one. Preferably not the same boat, so I can move you out of the way. Oh, I've done it on a path block, haven't I? Of course I have. Ugh. Not many Minecraft series start with you destroying something before you've even built anything, right? No, 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 there, 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 there. You've got this. Yes, there we go. The nitwits in a boat. Buddy, stop using your damn fletching table. And leave the house. Yes, 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 yes. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Yes! Yes! Thank you, you are very easy to trap. Just, just go in here. Perfect. First villager in a boat. And... Now I'm glitched in the boat. There we go. First villager in a boat in the water. Perfect. Hello, buddy. Um, if you could just, you know, get in that boat. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you, buddy. We're going on a little ride, a little journey. To you, I don't mind dying. Being a nitwit and all. Oh, some pants and some leather. Leather is actually going to be really difficult for me to get. So early game leather, fantastically useful. We caught a kitty cat. Hello, buddy. I didn't really intend on catching you, but I'm also not upset about it because we get a friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. There we go. Right. Fantastic. Where did the other one go? Oh, you imbecile. Oh. And a nice collection of you. I hope there's no drowned in this river. If there's, if there's drowned in this river and you guys die, I'm sorry. The golem has moved away. That's what we're going to do. Put this here. And only one of you, one of you is going to get in it, okay? As soon as you get in one of these boats, I'm going to get in it. Oh, you cretins. Head that way. Get in that boat. No, no, no. In the boat. <laughs> oh, villagers. This is why I didn't want to do village. You're in with the cat. You're in You're in with the cat. The one thing I actually wanted to keep here. The one thing. The cat. And you stood by the iron golem. You. Let's get you out of here. Ah! And you and a cow. Mm. Why can't you just get in a boat without attracting other creatures into the boat? 
I think all the villagers are in boats. They're just not in usable boats. Right. Golem, if you could ignore me for a moment. I may hit the cat here. Right, good. You're in. I'm taking you away, you stupid nitwit villager. This guy, you're not even worth the trouble, are you? Look at him there, giving me side eye. You're lucky I even saved you. What up, party people? Everybody's favourite doofus is here. I, I, I know he's dumb. I know, yep. Yep, he is. But you have to put up with him. If I had to put up with him, you guys have to put up with him, okay? Ha, I'd be sad too if I had to put up with that nitwit. Okay, you're in. I'm in. We've got it. Yes! The final villager. Right. Now, you, I'm actually going to leave here because we need to make some kind of waterway to get to here, which is how I'm going to deliver you. Um, I think it looks like here would be the best way of doing it. Just need a two-way all the way through here. We'll get it into this pool and then keep going between those rocks. Okay. So... So I spent the next maybe half an hour digging this with stone tools and filling it with water and making sure that we had a trench that ran all the way from one side to the other and we connected the two rivers together so that the village over there on the right could be connected to our village on the left and now it was time to move the villagers. Hello, don't worry, we'll take this guy first. This is going to take a while so I'll skip to the moving of the villagers and you don't need to watch all of this, right? I don't think you guys want to see me moving all these villagers. Hopefully we can get through this annoying little canal. We can. Yes, this is working. Yes. Pig. Pig. Taking you to your new home, buddy. Are you excited? You should be. Go on, buddy. You can do it. Where are you going? This way. Come on, you can do it. Come to the fletching table. Okay, you, you've integrated. You've successfully integrated into the village. Let's go back and get you friends. Bye. Enjoy your new home. Don't follow me. I didn't know you had dandruff. I don't. I'm going to release you so that you lose your job. Hopefully. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Put one here. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one in the water. Okay? Only one of you can get in one boat. Okay? I swear to God. Right. Does it. I'm taking the nitwit. You mother trucker. Why would you do this? Like, seriously. What's this little boogie that you're doing? I could have crit you then. I, c I, I can do it. I can crit you if I want. Yeah, that's right. I am looking at you. You two are going to perform amicably for me, okay? One person in one boat, okay? How have you walked over that boat? Right, you're in. Seriously, how how is this so difficult for you? Get in the boat. Buddy, get in the boat. Buddy, get in the boat. Thank you. My goodness. How is this so difficult? Don't like you. I really don't like you. You know what? I like the nitwit more than I like you. You have wronged me, sir. You know what you did? That's right. You look away. You look away. Oh, two more to go. How are you there? Ah, that's how, because there's a storm. Right, let's let's sleep then. Whoa, nearly. I saw him out of the corner of my eye, goodness me. God, you run so scary now with this mod pack. Oh, texture pack, resource pack. Don't. Oh. 
Need two more of you to move. That's another whole Minecraft day it's going to take to move you both. Row, row, row your boat from village to village. If they really wind me up, I will surely pillage. Guess what, guys? You are really winding me up. So I may steal all of your stuff before you've even got to settle in this village. How does that sound? Oh, for goodness sake. Why are you stuck in here, buddy? Just, just get out. You can do it. I believe in you. Just a little bit further. A little bit, a little bit further because I need to get boat past. That, that, that'll do. Thank you, bye. You're the last one, buds. You are officially the last one. Okay? Thank goodness this ridiculously long process is so nearly over. Why? Look, it's not that difficult. Just stay out of the goddamn canal. Get on land. Get to this village. Come on. Get over there. I'm done with this village already. I'm going to... I was going to loot it and steal all the stuff, but I don't even know if I want to. See, look, I even moved the nitwit. Here's the nitwit. He's at least moved in, I suppose. I'm, I'm stealing all your stuff. And I do not feel bad about it. Because you villagers are the worst, and I hated it, and I wish I'd just killed you and left. No, I, I don't. I don't like killing the villagers. It feels kind of weird. Let's head back to our base, sleep, eat, and then we have a village to destroy. I know not everybody would start their series on Minecraft by taking down a village, but I'm not everybody, okay? I'm going to spend the next, like, hour destroying these houses because they take a lot longer than you think they take. So, uh, you guys enjoy a very quick time lapse. Three, two, one, a go. What? How is there another one of you? You were not hit. Is there a part of this village I don't know about over here? Oh, there's the one I forgot to move. I hate villagers with every fiber of my being. What a beautiful morning we have behind me with a lovely rainbow. It's been a fun couple of days, and by fun, I mean it's not been fun at all. Yay! Uh, that is because we have completely destroyed the village up here, apart from a couple of pathways and things. This is what you get for destroying a whole village. It's quite a lot of stuff, actually. Like, I... I Glad I did it. We got 31 white terracotta, a couple of stacks of logs, quite a lot of cobblestone, lots of stairs. Too many beds. I got so many beds. When am I ever going to need that many beds? Also, the iron golem has now come to stand by our bed and stuff. It's kind of cute, but I think he's trying to get to the villagers. I found three villagers while doing this. I don't know where they've come from, but apparently that's just where they are now.
And if you understood why I used that music for that little mini montage, you're old, like me, and probably British as well. Anyway, we have now completely finished the whole of the village destruction project. That is completely done. It's all done behind me. The only thing we have left is the little tree. You can kind of see just behind me with the little path around it. I thought that looked quite good. Uh, so we do need to build some kind of a house at some point. And also we need to move the three cretins that we found peeking over there and move them to the other village before we could end this episode. This episode has been very long. I do apologize. It is the first one. They'll probably be around half an hour from now on. I want them to be extended episodes. I want to show everything that I'm doing. I want, don't just want to mash it all together in lots and lots of time lapses. The time lapses are kind of things that I think you'll find mundane. But uh, overall, I think we're going to limit them as much as we can. So you can see my building process and things like that. We do need to move these guys. We need to build a house and we need to move these guys. Let's start with moving these guys and then we'll come back. Build a house, a shelter before the end of the episode. Many unbearable hours later. Right, final villager moved. He is officially in the village along with everyone else. The villagers have been completely moved. So we need to get a shelter done before the end of this episode. So... Let's start and build something. And done. That'll do right. Anyway, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching this first episode. If you did really enjoy it, please leave a like and a subscription on the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And hopefully we'll get doing an actual house next time in the next episode. I look forward to making it and seeing you there. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. And remember, be kind to one another. Bye-bye.